afternoon, friends. Uh, I'm here with the founder of Sky Air. He's uh, Ankit. And uh, as we were talking, so he has got into drone business other than the businesses he was running in earlier, Aftar. <laughs> and uh, yesterday, this uh, drone festival, the Drone Mahotsav, has been inaugurated by our country's Prime Minister, Narendra Modi. We had the Civil Aviation Minister and we had all the top brass, yes. all the ministers from the Union Cabinet here because we need drones in every field, you know, and Absolutely. we need it across the country. Right. So what do you, Ankit, uh, about your vision and what's your plans for the future? So, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Ankit Kumar. I am the co-founder and CEO at uh, Sky Air. Skyer is uh, primarily a drone delivery company. It's been focusing on using drones to do logistics in the shortest time possible. So we capitalize more on uh, being a very uh, efficient, cost-effective, faster and a sustainable mode of transportation for any sort of cargo which needs to move within the city or outside the city from within a district, within a state, wherever it needs to move. So A to B logistic is what we do. That's our vision. Uh, we look forward to impact millions of lives in the coming months, uh, primarily in healthcare and the e-commerce side of it, how we can enable vaccines, uh, blood packages, uh, medicines and other things to reach to remote areas. Uh, like one of the examples if I have to give, uh, we recently did a flight in Uttarkashi to outskirts of Dehradun. And uh, this flight uh, was done in a period of, uh, in a time frame of one hour while compared to conventional medium which takes eight hours to do the similar uh, package delivery between the two locations. So people living in Uttarkashi will now be able to benefit more uh, with, with respect to getting things on time, getting things in a much faster manner and not to wait for diagnostic reports uh, because things are going to be faster from here on. So that's our vision and that's our mission to uh, impact millions of lives, help people uh, try to drive things much faster in the way. Okay, I just read here that you've covered about 4,100 kilometers. Yes. And you say you've delivered 3,300 kg. So what essentially, what are the means other than you said uh, vaccines yep. and then blood bags, is it, uh, means what else is the area you're focusing on now? So we're also focusing on e-commerce. We're focusing on e-commerce. E-commerce. Uh, quick commerce, which is grocery deliveries. We are working with Swiggy and Dunzo in that aspects uh, to enable grocery deliveries within cities. Uh, at the same side, we are also working on agri-commodity delivery. So we recently did a, a flight in uh, Lakadong, which is a remote area in uh, Meghalaya. And we were able to provide a first mile logistics to the farmers over there uh, who, are, who are looking at connecting with the market and uh, transferring and transporting the, the Lakadong turmeric, which is quite famous in Asia. Yes. And uh, we, we did that. And that opened up an opportunity for us to look beyond it, to look for high-priced commodity, high-priced agri-commodity, to be very specific, which can be transported in the, in the shortest time frame and which could enable a lot of flow in the market for these farmers to take advantage from. So what sort of payload capacities do you have now in the existing structures? So we can carry anything between 500 grams to 50 kgs of a payload and we can travel a distance of 1 kilometer to 100 kilometer and do that flight. in a single charge, in a right. single flight a single charge. and can do all those sort of deliveries which can take place. And this is operated by uh, I mean, the drone pilots. So are you also looking at that segment of uh, scaling up people so in that? All the flights that we do are automated. However, we keep drone pilots on ground to monitor, the, monitor every single flight that takes place. And in, in accordance with that, yes, we do have requirements of pilots. Uh, you'll see the board here, we are saying that we are hiring as well at all levels. Uh, we have requirements of more than 1,000 pilots in the next one year. So that's that's you how we put it. For young talent or I mean, you want to train them or you want them to be already the trained people, the retired people, like, you know, from the forces, the ex-servicemen who retire early at around 40 years of age, they've served in about, I think they put in 20, 25 years and they retire. Then they look for alternative jobs. Are you looking for those people also? Sure, as they say, you know, uh, passion doesn't have an age. And uh, anybody who is passionate enough to, to get into aviation, to get into drone flying, 
is most welcome to join us, most welcome to apply over here. We also get uh, young, uh, young people, young fresh graduates who wants to get into this. We provide them training, we get them to get DDCA certificates as well uh, after, after three months of internal training so that they get adapted to the overall environment on how BB loss drone delivery can be made possible. And now, uh, the here today, like in this uh, drone festival, we have people from all across the country. So this is going to be the major area for like the uh, Modi ji is saying we are going to, you know, the five trillion dollar economy. So how do you feel that how much are we going to contribute, the drone guys? So I think, you know, drone is going to certainly contribute to a larger extent to the uh, overall aviation contribution to the uh, $5 trillion uh, economic growth that we are capitalizing on. And since this is a new segment, this will rise up like anything. As, as our Prime Minister said yesterday, you know, we are building solution for the masses. And this is one such technology which is not going to the richer. It's, it's directly going in the singular shot uh, to, the, to the masses. And uh, whenever you do something with masses, the sort of opportunity and the sort of growth uh, immensely lies in that area, which will contribute towards the growth of the GDP as well. So, and do we have any hurdles? Do you feel any hurdles as an industry? Anything where you want, uh, you know, I means single window assistance, or is it already you think it's very smooth functioning is happening? So I think in the last six months things have progressed a lot, and uh, there has been a lot of changes which has happened, uh, which has uh, which has given a very smooth transitioning towards a digital framework or to a digital system, which is enabling things much faster now. Uh, the regulation is very clear. It allows you to fly in green zones and, and with permissions in certain yellow zones as well. And that is what we are widely accepting and, uh, and, and abiding by. Uh, the, on the challenges front, you know, since the industry is very new, we learn new things every day. There are challenges, and I'm not saying the challenges won't come. Challenges would come in the future as well. But it's all, it's all on you on how we, how we are able to eradicate those challenges, move past that, and see a brighter future, brighter things uh, to come in line and enable a commercial deliveries in the near future to go. Many threats in the future, like from a foreign invasion, because, you know, we want it to be our industry. The Indian domestic industry should grow. And uh, India is looking to make this a uh, hub for everything, you know. So are, we, are you also looking for like any threat? Not really, you know, one of the policies or one of the recent bans that India has put on foreign companies to enter the Indian market uh, with respect to so the components. Safe. I feel it has given a first mover advantage or a, or a bigger advantage to the Indian manufacturers to rise up to the occasion. Uh, take best benefit out of it and start creating products which can go to the global market. See, we have the best pool of engineers in the world and I believe that with that best pool of the engineers in the world, we can be able to do things uh, in a much prudent manner, in a much uh, better manner altogether and uh, and create some things of the world today here. I mean, people say that Tesla is have been created in the US, why can't it be created in India? The engineers go from here to US and do the same thing over there. Given the Given the, uh, you know, the, the expectations which are there today, given the focus that the government has got with PLI schemes and other new schemes that they have been announcing with, I'm sure that uh, companies would look into uh, getting, in, getting in line with this and creating something which is going to be uh, futuristic for the world, made by India, made in India, and uh, create a lot of uh, domestic opportunities overall. In the yeah, world thanks, scenario. Ankit. I think what you put in is like uh, that we are in very safe hands with the present Prime Minister and his policies and his ministers down the line in each and every ministry. So they are all there to protect this drone industry. Yes. So there is no threat as of now. Indeed. Uh, yes. Thank you, Ankit. Sanjay Agarwal signing off. Question?